Welcome to Poetic Societies, the transnational Sioux Soul Network of healing, poetic beings in cosmic times with thousands and thousands and thousands of bodies across locations, Iran, the United States, Detroit, Flint, New York, Palestine, the global black 
multiverse. For the next hour, we will use telepresence technologies to transform beyond logic, to convince beyond ration. We merge into the mesh of absolutely healing life, art, music, meditation, and technology to sink oppressed bodies. Breathe intersectional solidarity and circulate healing tactics across the Pluxus Earth. We shape the future global margins. Say with me, with a symbolic feast. Say with me, chest to chest, heart to heart, for the borderless lives, for the immortal acts of social justice, for other dimensional resilience, for the forgotten networks of the global black movement. If you're a part of the movement and cannot be in the streets, touch your heart. Many of us immigrants, fragile, tracked, tortured, and unaccessible bodies are on the same orbit. This movement is for you, for you and you. There are infinite ways of participation from circulating your light, your hue as a hue person, your energy, your wisdom, your knowledge, and transformative interactions with each and every family member, friends, and social circles. The movement flows mouth to mouth your precise studies of your local policies in your city halls, hospitals, prisons, schools, police departments, and wherever the institutional machinery conducts in equitable choreographics of our bodies. Members of the movement, please rise. Beyond race, beyond gender, language, and social or geographical status. If you like to become a part of the movement, please rise. If you're in the water, make waves. If you're driving, get ready to dance on your seats. Get ready to flash your lights and honk your horns. You, 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 and you. If you're standing next to your porch light, turn it on for the next hour. Be with us. Show solidarity with the GBM, Global Black Movement. If you're in bed, get ready to take it from the pillow to the power. Your bedroom is getting ready to smoke with a strong currency of empathy, knowledge, wisdom, and pleasure beyond space and time or any other limits.
Unleash your illuminating power of electrifying poetry and manifest with and beyond the electronic machinery. If you don't have your forgotten network's ID card, mail us at Sweet 3000 East Grand Boulevard, Detroit, Michigan, 48202. Enclose a stamp. We will send you your card, letting them know nobody electrifies like you. This is a global movement against colonization and military control. We rise for body liberation as it is the finest form of collective elevation. From Iran to Detroit, to Flint, to Palestine and New York, the Multavits of the global black resistance is taking over. We rise to end injustice and wash away our volunteering inhabitation of white existence, all of us together. Poetic Societies in collaboration with La Mama and Culture Hub is so pleased to offer you the Juneteenth edition of the movement. With Poetic Society's residence, we're gonna take off quickly. Myself, Botajay, Solar, Ansari, Salakastar, Ian Fink, Aya Simone, Jonah Mixon Webster, Halima Kessels, Nia, and Raphael Lafar. Welcome to the Forgotten Network's ancestral healing teleprotest. Let's extend the resilience. Bring all them lovely things 
go to the She dip you in the water Now you are free Now you can see Now you are clean Now you can sing for those whose voices were Swallowed too long Swallowed too long Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Oh. Oh.
immerse ourselves in the color blue, the overwhelming beauty, the perpetual mystery, and our seemingly endless misery, until one day, one Having hot tea together, I remember steam that travels across the room as we sigh. I remember having a sweet, juicy snack. of this moment is relief we didn't know we needed. The weight off of our backs and shoulders. We float to the ceiling 
laughing and kicking through the air. I remember we laughed until our wind was gone, our bodies in soundless, soundless vibration. We gasp for the air our laughter took, grasping for each other for support. <sighs> we sigh in rhythm, big fat tears that had been welling up inside of us for generations in reserve for a pain worse than the last. Vibrating with our laughter and to our surprise these tears rolled down hot and heavy with pleasure. We sigh in rhythm. I remember the water was warm. I remember we began
Black ontology number five. Black as if always the blues. Of a stridulated half note, night gristle, locust chirp, bow neck, wax lips, wet stain, a body thronged hard and buried in the open light. The root of it dug up with a mouth stretched reaching to scratch the noose from his throat and give everyone a song. Black ontology number 10, the real nigga in disintegration. At this juncture, inexorable meaning through erasure in the signal of the edge, the, the rib, the meat, the fat, the flesh, the coin, the silver, the blood, the juice, the, the box, the, the, the bird, the feather, the milk, the land, the bottle, the, the, the last, the nick, the dime, the dub, the dust, the saw, the, 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 the shore, the, the shine, the shell, the, the, the man, the bull, the, 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 the cup, the air, the car, the stick, the, the sick, the, the, the sheep, the, the field, the, 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 the meat, the, the thief, the meal, the muscle, the meat, the menace, the glass, the jaw, the weather, the wind, the salt, the wood, the word, the draw, the, 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 the skit, the skin, the, 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 the fit, the fit of the tassel, the tip, the part, the stack, the stain, the damn, the deacon, the deck, the thin, the, 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 the brain, the cave, the star, the money, the, 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 the give, the, 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 the document, the, the, the fact, the, the, the scab, the tap, the, the, the hen, the drain, the jaw, the, 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 the stage, the, 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 the truck, the, the, the wine, the howl, the, 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 the meter, the yoke, the, 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 the jam, the skull, the heft, the, 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 the,
the 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 the, the, marsh, the, marsh, the river, the lake, the stream, the chill, the kick, the shake, the the the, the juke, the slick, the the the, the lair, the, the the clutch, the the, the the ring, the ring, the brass, the roach, the the, the, the foot, the just the shade, the scope, the the, the miss, the market, the, the matter, the take, the screw, the land, the river, the, the, the whisper, the mask, the clerk, the ticket, the take, the shake, the bend, the gin, the how, the hustle, the, 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 the knife, the shit, the hustle. The pitch, the throw, the the, the 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 push, the meter, the mill, the grin, the tooth, the shun, the badge, the the the, the ball, the, the 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 sand, the seat, the the, the walk, the, the the jail, the 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 maker, the type, the the, the light, the spell, the the the, the clean, the the, the the post, the twitch, the bunker, the trench, the valley, the split, the script, the jacket, the church, the boy, the the, the line, the limb, the lays, the the ling, the the lame, the the sling, the, the bag, the toast, the the, the gill, the vicar, the the, the 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 turn, the the the, the cure, the the cold, the the disc, the the, the, the cook, the, the the gene, the oil, the glue, the 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 murk, the pot, the the, the score, the the shook. Everybody got a pistol. Everybody got a forty-five. And the philosophy seems to be. At least near as I can see, that when other folks give up theirs, I'll give up mine. Gil Scott Heron, gun. The gun appears at a gathering of little niggas in my driveway. The gun appears with a pearl handle in silk and a lock box inside my mother's headboard. The gun appears on the belt of a middle school liaison. The gun appears in leather atop my father's woven wood placemat. The gun appears tucked on the waist of my big brother. The gun appears with those other niggas at the mini mart. The gun appears as a shoddy pointed before my windshield. The gun appears in the bando on the bend of its cushion. The gun appears in chrome stuck through the window of a Dodge firing outside of paradise. The gun appears behind the bulletproof glass at BP. The gun appears in hand at the table of a drunk. The gun appears as a misfire. The gun appears at my boy's crib as a stick. The gun appears unbuckled on the officers who were bound me. The gun appears in the basement. A father and his three sons filled 30 clips that hold 15 rounds each. The gun appears in double. The gun appears on a strap while my other brother makes a sandwich. The gun appears on the counter behind where I sit. The gun appears in the mind of my Uber driver having heard me make a clink. The gun appears loaded. The gun appears as a war hall, a print tacked on the head of a shut room. The gun appears off another hip. The gun appears in front of the tiny air in my face. The gun appears as a joke. The gun appears as my fist in a hot mouth in no time. And I'm not all nigger. And I'm not all nigger. I'm not all slug neck. I'm not all rope. I'm not all broke back. I'm not all pop pop. I'm not all headshot nor jailbird. Not all whistle at the white girl. Not all meat slump. Not all cannon of teeth gliding across the Tallahatchie night water. Not all gun stipple and spilt blood. Not the boom of red smoke breaking the body with a new exit wet already. And I'm not all body. Not all dead fruit dark swinging from the tree breeze. And though that is my blood, I'm still not the blood on the leaves. I'm still not all cotton mouth hollow choke hood whip, not all t-shirt slogan and hashtag, not all don't shoot, I can't breathe, not all some orgiastic shadow of dead flesh, cause even when I die, I'm still not all death, I'm not all brown sugar, sour diesel and blue dream, no, I'm not all nigga, boy, I'm not all here in the same, not all is said, not the same haunt. I come not as one, nor with nothing. Still, I'm still, and I still got my name. I'm still Jeremy. I'm still Laura. I'm still Lawrence. I'm still Emmett. I'm still Mike. I'm still Marie. I'm still Jeremy. I'm still Tamir. I'm still Charlie. I'm still Freddie. I'm still Eric. I'm still Rakia. I'm still Walter. I'm still LaVar. I'm still Sean. I'm still Oscar. I'm still Trayvon. I'm still Amadou. I'm still George. I'm still Jordan. I'm still Tommy. And I'm still Brianna. And I'm still a and I'm still George, and our mama's still my mama, and my daddy's still my daddy, and my friends, they still my friends, and these all my brothers and sisters still, and I still had my house, and my room, and my garden, and my job, and I still had my school, and I still graduated. Remember? I still had a life before they took that. So when you tell my story, get it right, and take all my shit back.
I'm so happy that people are doing midwifery. I'm so happy to learn about herbalism, especially about what grows in my backyard and what's supposed to grow in my backyard. Not just necessarily what's here now, but learning about like what's been here for thousands of years. That is my pawpaw tree. I have two of them. And pawpaws, this is a tangent, but amazing. Anti-cancer, like delicious mango banana fruit. My theory is that this tree traveled up the Mississippi River because it's very close to like um, a tropical, it looks like an avocado leaf, right? You know, it's shaped like a papaya. You slice it open, the seeds are like papaya um, or a soursop. But it's native because it's been documented to have been on this land for 6,000 years. And it grows in river basins. So, like, it's, like, in the Huron River Valley. It's in, you know, all along the whole Mississippi. And so, um... I'm like, I feel so like honored that I got fruit this year after seven years of caring for these trees. (laughs) It's delicious. It was worth it. (laughs) I said if she came during the daytime, we'd be in the garden and laboring out here. But since she came at night, we were in my bedroom, which for like our whole family is such a powerful thing. She's my first child and so there was like so much fear that I was like precipitated. Why would you want to have her at home? You have to go to a hospital like all of those kind of things. So she was born in the hospital and of course I'm every day grateful that she's healthy and great. Um, but that experience of being in the hospital, being told what to do, what not to do, um, couldn't stand up and walk around, couldn't eat. And then a lot of like, just kind of recognizing the systems for what they are, trying to extract as much money as possible. So, um, that evening on my floor, there were eight women giving birth and six of them had C-sections, including myself. So, you know, is that really medically necessary? The second two children were born at home and it was totally different, of course, and totally empowering. So, Yeah, I was not medicated. I was like listening to my body. I was walking around. I was um, laboring for quite a long time. And my midwife was like, all right, what do you think you need? And I was like, "Uh, aren't you, you know, like, aren't you supposed to tell me what to do? (laughs) She's like, no, this is about you and your body. You know, you had a C-section. So this is going to be different than someone who's just giving birth for the first time. There's scar tissue, there's a bunch of stuff that has to happen, and you are giving birth, literally, for the first time. So, I ended up taking, like, three showers, Um, and then, you know, just kind of, like, being on all fours, walking around, dancing, Um, I had candles, I had... Um, all my sense going. I had like everything I needed. It wasn't happening. And so she said, just go take a nap. (laughs) Which sounds ridiculous, right? But she said, lay on your side, put a pillow between your knees, put a pillow under your neck. You know, it's, you've been at it for 12 hours. Just, you know, just relax. Just try to take a nap. Baby will come when they're ready. And sure enough, that's what happened. Uh, After like laying down for a a, a moment, I was like, wait a minute. (laughs) 
something is there. Something is coming out of me. So she also went to sleep. <laughs> she had been at my house for like 12 hours. And she came, she's like, yeah, okay. So I think we should do a squat. Since we've got it, we can use gravity. And, um, you know, her dad was like holding me from behind. I got close to the radiator where it was nice and warm because it's winter time. And I just squatted and was supported and out came my baby. <laughs> really easy actually <laughs> after all of that where I thought I had to do a lot more work and I actually didn't. I needed to relax and just let the time and let her do what she needed to do. Yeah, they all love to cook and we work to make things, especially, you know, with their dad, his thing is like food is medicine. And so where do our tastes meet our needs? And also like, what are you able to do? So we spend a lot of time preparing food, smoothies, whatever, cooking. And so they're like, we want to do that too. So demystifying it and being like, all right, here, here's a butter knife chop mushrooms here's a um you know spoon stir that <laughs> I literally did ask them all once they got to be able to have speech where they came from and they all told me different things and so this is what the book's about We're gonna take a few deep breaths. You may want to do this outside or inside with some calming, soothing music. But I'm doing one outside so I can get the natural music. We're gonna take five deep breaths. Let's start. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to head on in to reading a book. One night while tucking in tight, outside lightning thundered. Auntie, where did I come from? My little niece quietly wondered. Well, uh, I will tell you. What I've learned, I said. Then it's time for you to go to bed. I've been given many teachers, my elders, my daughters, even other creatures. Years ago, I asked my first daughter, where did you come from? She said, Mommy, the water. Years later, I asked her sister at 16 months wise, where did you come from? She told me, mommy, the skies. Years after, my third daughter answered me love to the same question, it's what we're all made of. Water, sky, and stardust brought to earth through love. You, me, and everyone are all of the above. Everyone? Everything? Even you and me? How in the world can that possibly be? Because everything is everything. Sky, water, stardust are all made of the exact same stuff. Even a mouse, even a house, 
Even a frog? Even a dog? Even a fly? Yes, and here's why. Everything is everything. Honeycomb wax, hummingbirds wings, even silver spider strings. Essentially, elementally, we all are made of the exact same things. Our bodies are mostly water like our planet and most beings. Our breathing connects us to future, present, and past. Our bodies also contain outer space, metals, minerals, and gas. Billions of tiny bacteria call our healthy bodies home, and our hearts connect us with all life. We are never alone. Where did you come from? The same answer for all is true. You are your ancestors' dreams, an infinite, magnificent miracle born in the universe. The end. Dear sweetheart, let me tell you, you have everything you need. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. We are the ones who chose to come now with all of our ancestors at our backs and all of their wisdom inside us. We walk, we dance, we plant, we harvest. We can heal ourselves, we can nurture ourselves. We can love all of ourselves fully and freely. In fact, it is our responsibility in this moment to live as freely with as much joy as possible. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for being with us through this journey of ancestral meditative protest. We are going to close the program with a group talk with our visionary residents at Poetic Societies. We have here Salakistar. Hi, Salakistar. Jonah. Hello, Jonah. Halima is joining us soon. And we are going to also celebrate the work and the passionate efforts of all the other residents who worked with us, helped us, supported us to create this program together, to manifest this energy together, to have this currency flowing from screen to screen. And a special thank 
thanks goes to our technical team at Culture Hub. Thank you so much for all your magic and incredible work. And Solar is here with me as well. And we're going to have a friendly, casual conversation as if we were in our homes together, the same way we do it, right? Yes. Halima, Nia is there with you. I just wanted to say my love to Nia. Hi, baby. I love you. Hi. You made my day. Yes, yes, yes. Those movements go a long way. Hi, baby and Zanga. (laughs) Hello, my beautiful. All right. The house is full and we are ready. Let's begin. So I thought, uh, you know, I want to share some of the memories that we have together some moments when we met, perhaps for the first time, when we felt the magic together, and then take it wherever you want. I'm with you for this, right? Well, Asia, we've been through three years of making and creating together in this life and in our dreams, connecting beyond dimensions. In particular, it's been three years that we've been creating your All Blue album together. I just wanted to say that I cannot emphasize enough how much this process has been helpful to me to live my word of decolonizing my time, live my word for taking that notion of speedy to existence off my body and breathing with you, connected to all the movements happening, all the vibrations that took us to this very moment without any particular plans, just riding and surfing on the top of it. I wanted to ask you to please talk to us a little from that space and the intentionality for removing trauma and anything else on the top of that you want to say. I'm going to let you start by creating that vision uh, that memory, as we are about cultivating transnational memories of your birthday ceremony that we did together on December 21st, which is the title of one of your songs. And yeah, you take it from there, girl. Baby girl, you're mute. I see your beautiful energy, but I can't hear you. Give us that voice. Your project is also all about the throat chakra, so talk about that too. (laughs) Aisha's gonna come back again to reconnect her audio. Meanwhile, I'm going to extend that space and share the other memories that I have. Please keep them in your hearts and then start however you want. I just wanted to share that with you too. So 
Jonah, the first time we met, you were at the、uh, beautiful space of 45 workshops, putting your blood force, life energy, your big smiles, your incredible presence in each and every moment with everybody. What a beautiful space that was. I caught you cutting my grass. <laughs> I said I like to keep it wild, and my neighbors are not happy. And then we blew some dandelions together, right? Okay. Right. right. Talk、I、a little bit more like that. about that.、Um, I think Asia just rejoined and or is doing it almost there. And then I'm gonna talk a little more. Before we switch, Asia, can you、uh, say something so we hear your beautiful vibrations? Oh, I love this angle of you. I love all the angles of you, but this particular one is beautiful too. And Halima Jun.、Um, Every time I come to your house, it feels like it's an extensional piece of my land, of my home, back in Iran. It's like my body goes on this immediate relaxation mode. It's as if there is nothing to justify, and I can just be, however, and whenever. Seriously, your door has been always open to me. Thank you so much for your friendship. Thank you so much for teaching me about motherhood beyond my fears of bringing a child into this earth, and thank you for your active, powerful practice of creating spaces of transition. I know you as a guardian and a gardener, if that's a word, of your land. The north end of your city of Detroit and beyond, in each and every global interaction that I've seen you doing. First time we met was as the,、uh, you know, colleagues at the <laughs> New Museum's lab at the Herman Kiefer's abandoned hospital, and it was just an immediate contact. It was an immediate. Connection, and I wanted to extend、uh, our team's、uh, wills and wishes for you to talk more about、uh, your practice of parenting with,、uh, you know, all the support that you get from your beautiful partner. Thank you for rice support here, Ashe, and also. For the way that you、uh, are able to keep life at its more purity, honesty, rawness, with not much of toughness available to the kids, keeping them out of the artificial bubble in the embrace of peace of nature, and that's what the book is about. So here we go. Those are my pieces, and then I wanted to ask you all to talk about your pieces. We shared books here, we shared words here. Albums are coming up. Things have been published. So here we go. Please begin. Asia, you can go first if your sound is good, because we are making a full circle. Yeah, can you hear me? Wonderful. Well,、um, yeah, I guess I can just start with、uh, telling you about myself. My name is Saleka Star.、Um, I'm also known as Asia.、Uh, I'm an actor and singer based here in Detroit. And、uh, the way that this project started, All Blue Part One, Majorell.、Uh, the way that it started it was, uh, I had a spiritual experience with、uh, one of my girlfriends, and one day I began to see the color blue very vibrantly, and it would just、uh, 
when I saw it, it would make my entire body just vibrate. Um, and then I just started writing music from that place and creating a mythology around uh, this Majorel character who represents um, my unslaved, decapitalized, de-traumatized, decolonized self, uh, my magical self, my free self. And yeah, I just started writing from that space, uh, creating a live performance, creating an album, uh, poetry. Um, and yeah, yeah. And I've been doing these meditations um, during this time because I noticed that we had um, just so much trauma coming at us, um, especially Black people. And I wanted to create something that was healing and something that you might not immediately feel, but you'll feel it tomorrow. Um, yeah. The eclipse is tomorrow too. Yes, it is. And the summer solstice is in two days. So a lot going on in the sky. Um, hey, everybody. Uh, good to virtually meet you all. Um, yeah, like you said, I almost forgot about the grass cutting thing. Yeah, but you know, we met at a really beautiful retreat. Um, you know, that was a really great space to, um, you know, celebrate and to feed energy into the work of, um, of uh, you know, the brilliant women writers that we have on this earth and the brilliant women creatives that we have on this earth that makes all of us, and uh, makes all of our lives better. Um, and so like that retreat, being at that Fortify retreat and holding that space um, for um, femme creators um, and all their, you know, and all the, their beauty and their brilliance um, and that there was a really fitting space. Um, and I was very um, grateful and honored to be welcomed into the space and be allowed to share um, some of the work that I do um, I am from Flint, Michigan. I'm currently um, living in Flint, Michigan still. Um, and uh, I'm a poet, performer, um, sound artist, uh, and some other, you know, things, a DJ. And yeah, um, I think right now, you know, I want to also kind of just make space for us to, you know, um, kind of again, return to, you know, the um the day right the, the event of the day which is juneteenth um and thinking about right um how what ways we are accessing you know the freedoms that we have and what ways we are um trying to help others access right um, other freedoms as well um so um you know with the um the black artists for freedom um just put out a statement uh today um that we have some cultural demands um you know, as black artists, black creators, um, that our work cannot be exploited at the same time. You're killing us in the street. I mean, it can't be exploited, period. But to couple exploitation with violent, you know, a very immediate kind of violence is uh, something that we have to double down on. Um, you know, as the leaders of, like one of the leaders of creative content, you know, in this country um, and cultural content. And so, um, Right now, I think you know it's really nice to be able to share you know the space with other uh, other black writers and other black performers, and you know, and also to do what we, we and you, Ava, were talking about, which is you know, um, kind of dematerialize some of these borders, um, and kind of you know, connect right across um, across different contact zones of um, you know race, national origin, um, you know, um, different um, indigenous zones, um, right? And so we can actually come together in a more um, resilient network right um and to completely decolonize our spaces and even this virtual space how are we decolonizing this virtual space in this present moment by this you know so i'm gonna say um much gratitude to everyone um halima salaka star thank you so much ava deandra maddie everyone salar Carmen, so thank you all <laughs> thank you so much and yes I wished we had the whole time to talk more about the so many 
important things that we need to talk about and also the action list that we are working on at Poetic Societies for what are the things we need to do next. Halima, please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good to be here um, on this day and meet everybody. Um, I guess, you know, I'll just say that um, I'm honored to, to be a part of um, this as well as like the larger movement um, and that my children are a part of it. And for me, um, like my journey to freedom is back to my childhood and feeling um, limitless and realizing and becoming conscious that I'm in a body and this is my body. And, um, you know, like how do I get to continually be curious and explore with my children um, and, you know, they teach me, I might teach them a little bit, we play together, make things, um, and continually learn. Like, you know, I learned so much from my gardening practice and um, from other people. So, like, I'm taking little bits of today and I'm going to, you know, go home and, well, I'm at home, but <laughs> continue to, like, integrate and continue to, um, yeah, hold what I need to get from this moment. And um, yeah, I I'm very grateful. Um, and I'm also very encouraged. Like there's so many artists, there's so many people that are pushing the conversation of our humanity forward um, and around the world. You know, it's not like just black, but it's like all people around the world who've been oppressed, who have been pushed to the margin by systems, reclaiming our voices together. And I feel like, you know, I'm very, um, I'm very, very fortunate to be here in this moment with everybody. So thanks. Thank you so much, sister. And I just wanted to also um, bring into the space uh, Raphael Lafar and Aya Simone who are not here with us. And uh, we're gonna share uh, the Instagram handles of everybody. Please check the artists uh, who are present here with us or performed and participated today for their uh, incredible, uh, important work of uh, art uh, of life and social uh, life practice. We acknowledge that there was not enough time, tools, or resources to make this as accessible as possible for all bodies and cultural conditions with live captions, audio translations to all the living and dead languages on the earth. We are limited to English language that has been forcedly found, turned, twisted in many tongues and ways. We worked hard to make this our own and to bring to you what we thought could be something incredible for this day to share. We will use all we have to activate the spell of our poetry, transmedia on a global body level. We invite you to join us for the ride beyond this time and this space for all the aspects of being. Thank you for your presence. Juneteenth is today. <laughs>